If you're hurting, even though it might be hard, try to find that bravery within yourself to dive deep and go tell somebody and take them up in your head with you. You're watching Persona Pop, and this is Lady Gaga. Singer, songwriter, entrepreneur, and one of the best-selling music artists. Her life story and current updates. Since releasing her first studio album, The Fame, in 2008, Lady Gaga has sold a jaw-dropping 124 million records worldwide. And this isn't counting the digital downloads. She has 48.3 million and counting followers on Instagram and is estimated to be worth around $320 million. Apart from her five studio albums, Lady Gaga has also released two collaborative albums, one soundtrack album, and two video albums. In addition to her highly successful music career, she has a vegan, cruelty-free makeup line called House Laboratories and has also co-starred along Bradley Cooper in A Star Is Born. Born Stephanie Joanne Angelina Germanata, Lady Gaga was born on March 28 of 1986 in Manhattan, New York. She has a younger sister, Natalie, and grew up in the Upper West Side of Manhattan. After her mother insisted she become a cultured young woman, she was enrolled in piano lessons at the age of four and immediately took to music. My first published piano. While she was classically trained and taught to read sheet music, Lady Gaga says she always preferred to play by ear, and this no doubt helped her to create music of her own. It soon became clear that she had a talent, and so her parents encouraged her to pursue music. They even enrolled her in a creative arts camp. Soon after, Lady Gaga started playing at various open mic nights. While she chose a career in music, she also studied acting at the Lee Strasberg Theatre and Film Institute for 10 years. During this time, she went on countless auditions and while she landed a few small roles, such as a one-off part as a high school student in a 2001 episode of The Sopranos, she always knew that music was her first love. She has been quoted as saying, I don't know exactly where my affinity for music comes from, but it's the thing that comes easiest to me. In 2003, just five years before the release of her debut album, Lady Gaga gained early admission to Collaborative Arts Project 21, a music school at New York University. There, she studied music and improved her songwriting skills by writing essays on art, religion, social issues, and politics, including a thesis on pop artists Spencer Tunick and Damien Hirst. In 2005, she withdrew from school in order to focus on her music career and ended up recording two songs with Melly Mel for an audiobook accompanying Cricket Casey's children's novel, The Portal in the Park. Soon after, she formed a band called the SG Band with a few of her New York University friends. They were quite successful and ultimately brought Lady Gaga fame. After the 2006 Songwriters Hall of Fame's New Songwriter Showcase, a talent scout recommended Lady Gaga to music producer Rob Fusari. He recognized her talents instantly and started working with her, helping her to develop her songs and compose new material. The pair also dated briefly during 2006 and 2007, and Fusari claims that he's the one who came up with her stage name, saying it stemmed from Queen's song Radio Gaga. In 2008, her debut album, The Fame, was released and instantly started breaking records. The album reached number one in Austria, Canada, Germany, Ireland, Switzerland, and the UK, as well as the top five in Australia and the US. Its first two singles, Just Dance and Poker Face, reached number one in the US, Australia, Canada, and the UK. After selling 9.8 million copies, Poker Face became the world's best-selling single in 2009 and also spent a record 83 weeks on Billboard magazine's Digital Songs chart. Apart from her highly successful music career, Lady Gaga also starred in the film A Star Is Born, alongside Bradley Cooper in 2018. Rotten Tomatoes gave the film a 90% rating and said of Lady Gaga's acting, as Ali, Gaga is electric. In addition, she won the Critics' Choice Movie Award for Best Actress. 
In 2009, Lady Gaga launched her own cosmetics brand called House Laboratories. She takes immense pride in marketing it as a vegan and cruelty-free brand. In collaboration with her cosmetics brand, Lady Gaga and her mother have also set up the Born This Way Foundation. One dollar of every paid purchase of House Laboratories is donated towards the foundation, which supports the mental health of young people. For now, though, Lady Gaga seems to have been bitten by the acting bug once again as she's working on a film called House of Gucci. This time, she'll join some of Hollywood's biggest names such as Al Pacino, Jared Leto, and Jeremy Irons, to name but a few. The film is set for release in November this year and will follow the events surrounding the murder of fashion designer Gucci Gucci's grandson, Maurizio Gucci. Lady Gaga is set to portray the role of Maurizio's ex-wife. In real life, Patrizia Reggiani was tried and convicted of plotting his assassination in 1995. She spent 18 years behind bars and was released in 2006. The fact that she's once again stepping in front of the camera, however, doesn't mean she's leaving her music career behind. She released Chromatica, her fifth studio album in 2020. and is already getting ready to release a second collaborative album with Tony Bennett. In 2014, the pair released Cheek to Cheek, Together dancing cheek to cheek and have reportedly been working on their follow-up collaboration for some time. This, despite the fact that Bennett was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2016. Lady Gaga has grown incredibly fond of the jazz legend and says she sees him as an incredible mentor and friend and father figure. Whether Lady Gaga finds herself in the studio recording new solo material or with musical legends, whether she steps in front of a camera or runs a beauty powerhouse, she's a force to be reckoned with. And we can't wait to see what she decides to lend her talents to next. That's all from us here on Persona Pop for now. Feel free to like this video and subscribe to make sure you're notified of future releases. Let us know what you thought in the comment section or tell us which celebrities you'd like to hear more about. Join us again next time for more on your favorite celebrities right here on Persona Pop.